They kicked me out of my home. See this sweater? This is my new house. I'm gonna get one of those umbrella hats, then I'll have a roof too. <laughs> I did have to move into a tiny one-room studio efficiency. It was small, but packing was easy. I just marked every box, the room. <laughs> then I moved back in with my mom. Oh, that was the high point of my social career. I could not bring guys home. She would hit on them. <laughs> She's 88. And she would go, did you see that guy looking me up and down? I'm like, mom, that was a nervous twitch. Put some clothes on. <laughs> I bought life insurance in case I die before my mom. And the insurance agent said, you cannot commit suicide for two years or the policy won't be valid. So I'm like, hold on, I'll mark my calendar. <laughs> Does that include weekends? <laughs> I love my mom. We sit around her ancient kitchen listening to the oldies. The other day, this song comes on only the good die young. <laughs> I take her to these Alzheimer prevention meetings, and they're cool. They, they run them kind of like AA meetings. So this guy gets up and he goes, hi everybody, I'm Larry, and I forget stuff. And we all go, Hi, Steve. 